Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody is trying to do a tessellation, and it's not terrible, but it's you've got a lot of a gap where the glue is taken up. Um, he inlaid it into the other wood too thick, and he's having to sand it off. And really, if you're going to do something thick, you want your tessellation to be a little thick than your wood. And I, I made videos on this tessellation a long time ago, probably two or three years ago. It's one of the hardest tessellations there is. There I, so I am going to share this lizard file on my Facebook page, Corel Draw File Share, under the file section. And like I said, it's a hard one. So I'm just going to give them a few tips on how to do this part. But I thought I'd show uh, how to do this how to make this thing fit to inside of itself. Whenever I look at something, I'll look for a sharp point. There's two sharp points there and there. So I'm gonna control D on the keyboard. I'm gonna move my, sep so, sep uh, my rotation to that center of that right there, and I'm gonna rotate 120 degrees. Control D and it rotated at 240 degrees. Now, this is where the hard part starts. So I'm suggesting anybody want to do this, just do a three tessellation, tessellation. And then you just kind of need to look close and make sure you had everything perfect. And we're a little bit off. So you can, you know, adjust that ever so much. And if you're just doing it one time, you could cheat a little bit and just move it with your, um, shape tool to make it completely closed. But we are at 240 degrees, so you could tweak it a little bit more, make it, um, I don't know why that's not working. Let me back up here. Let's always make sure the first one, the first rotation worked. Because if the first one didn't work, yeah, the first one didn't work. So it must have not been on the center. So let's start over. Control D, move the center rotation of that node. Rotate it 120 degrees. There we go. And then Control D again. Now that's the easy part of that part. Have a little bit of trouble with mine. Well, hello. Have a little bit of trouble with my. There we go. Now I can rotate it 240 degrees. It probably didn't make a duplicate. I didn't. So you can always control D and then go back to 120. Anyway, so let's call that good. Now what you need to do is take these and group them together. Control G and find another sharp point, which is right there. And let's take the, well, I'm not, control D. My control key must be failing me. Now we've got it. So take that sharp point and put on the next sharp point. And it's, there you go. Now, if you do that correctly, you can control D again, and it'll just keep going. And then you just need to figure out how to rotate. But for beginners, or even myself today, I might start out with three. So the real video is how to help him get rid of the glue joint and make this. So here's your outside base. Let's take the smart fill tool, fill that in. Well, I pick red. I shouldn't pick red because it disappeared. Let's pick brown like the wood would be. And then take this out of the way. That is your holder for your three pieces. Now to make it fit perfect, now, here's what the good thing is. You don't have to cut these out. You can cut them out without having them, you know, um, they don't have to be get, you know, put together. You know, make sure they're a hairline. So we'll go hairline. And here's how to get rid of that laser curve. Okay? We have, let me move this stuff out of the way. So we have this piece 
and we need, when you cut this out and you cut those three, so this will be cut out by itself. And then these three pieces will fit inside there. So we need to eliminate that. So I'm going to break the curve apart, take that inside one, go up to effects and contour, and I'm going to contour to the inside 0 0.03. And I'm going to do it in green. And you see what I'm doing. That might, and you want to test this, that might be a little bit much. So you could do 0 0.01, but I've had good luck with 0 0.03. Then go up to effects, or go to object, break the contour part, and then I suggest nudging from here. This thing is 10 inches, that's way too big, but we'll make it 11 inch nudge. Take the outside circle and nudge it, and now take the inside green. That's your new cut line. Make sure it's a hairline. So what you did, you took away some of the curve, but you're not gonna take away the curve on the on these. And matter of fact, you don't need but you don't need but one of these guys. Take this and let's contour to the outside 0 0.03. Go up to break contour apart. If you grab the inside, it takes that one. So delete that so you won't mess up. And then take this one. Turn it red, it's already a hairline. Hit plus key on your keyboard and you could kinda put them close together so you won't waste wood. And then if you cut these three out and this holder, I almost guarantee, and that's why it's good to start with three, I almost guarantee they're gonna fit in there tight. I mean, maybe too tight. But put some glue on there, and uh, glue actually will help, kind of like a lubricant to kind of help it get into place. And then I've got several videos on how to sand this and put glue in the joints. And if you don't fi find that video, uh, leave me a message on my Facebook page. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.